All right, we're just enjoying second visit to MBR room. One of probably about four or five we're going to make, but actually my daughter's first time getting to hear the MBLs. And Jeremy is going to walk us through the gear. Everybody knows Jeremy. Always, not only aesthetically, a well-set-up room, but always sounds good. We almost got a, like a safari theme here. <laughs> but this is showcasing how you can do a small room really well. Uh, because usually you do have the bigger rooms or a purpose-built room, even in Cedia. This is showing you can do, tackle the same problems everybody else has. You bring the right speaker for it. And I, I want to show people, I want you to walk through the gear, but one thing people don't realize with these speakers, they talk about the omnidirectional and obviously for good reasons, but a lot of times people overlook the quality of these drivers. This tweeter, you know, will stand up to the plasma, you know, any tweeter yeah. in terms of quality and they make it in house. You know, it's not like everybody says, oh, we have a custom design speaker by X, X right. Y, Z. Right. You know, it, it may be a little bit custom, but this yeah. is custom. Absolutely. And the high end nature of the drivers is something that people overlook with MBL. They talk about everything else sure. for good reason. Sure. But I wanted you to walk through this particular model. The tweeter actually um, takes about 20 man hours in the factory really? to get it to a point where we can test it and mm. see if it's going to perform within our parameters. Mm. And at that point, more than half go in the garbage. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, there, there's, there's a there is a YouTube video where they show you making, they, they yes, show yes. MBL making. That is a very, how things are made, how, I think. It was on TV. Made, yeah. yeah that's a great video to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yes, truly, it's a lot to go into that. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is uh, the Model 120. Uh, he's our second smallest loudspeaker. We make two uh, three-way stand mounts. This uh -huh. is the larger of the two. Uh, he has, as you were saying, the MBL radial tweeter, uh -huh. the MBL radio, radio mid-range driver. Those two drivers are the same on all of our loudspeakers, from uh -huh. 14000 entry to $400,000 extreme. Uh, and then on the 120, we're using a, a hybrid base system. Mm -hmm. uh, you see there's not the big uh, melon shape, the big silver drive right. that you see on our larger speakers. That's the radial woofer. So here we're using um, side firing uh, cone drivers. Um, they're connected inside at the back mm -hmm. and push push together off the cabinet at the same time. So you have 180 degrees of radiation okay. on this side, 180 degrees on this side, and we stitch it up in the crossover. So on the 120, you have uh, two seven-inch uh, aluminum cone, uh, very uh, specialized woofers. Right. Um, and, and you don't are, sacrifice a whole lot at the bottom end. I mean, obviously, no, no, the other ones go 40 hertz. In the 40 room. hertz, so yeah. yeah you, you can obviously add a sub if you want, but well, satis satisfying. The next model. <laughs> exactly. Well, you could get the, yeah. Because <laughs> you really don't take up that much more room. No, no, the 116 is almost yeah. the exact same footprint yeah. as yeah. that. Yeah. But and these are and cool stands. Have two drivers. Yep. The, the four -way with the one but if anybody wants to launch base for other in other areas of the room for the, whatever benefits that sure. you know you could sure. easily do this and too. You don't have to use our stand. I mean, it's you know same finish and there's some hidden fasteners on the bottom, but there's okay. nothing uh, that requires you to use our stand. Uh, it goes really well, and you have both the black and chrome, black and silver. I mean, black and gold, black and silver. Oh, the and colors. You, yeah, yeah, color so schemes. It comes in uh, piano white, piano silver or piano black, and you have a chrome or gold accent on any of those colors. Okay. We can also do custom RAL uh, colors. Okay. So we can match any RAL paint coat. Oh, know, cool. Yeah. Match so. Ferrari or your drapes or whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people will do that. Absolutely. Yeah. The yeah. whole system. Yeah. 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 And so let's talk about the electronics, because this is, um, the, let's see, the Noble line, right? No, no uh, we're mixing it a little bit here. This is the pre-production model. You probably heard it also at, uh, at the Tampa, uh, Tampa show, but yeah. we didn't get a chance to talk about okay, it. Yeah. So this is called the C41. It's from our uh, first level of uh, electronics, the Cadenza line. Cadenza, yeah. Yeah, okay. so the, the Cadenza family has um, a stereo amp, a mono blocks, a DAC CD player, uh, an integrated amp, and now this is our newest product, the network player. Okay. Cool. Um, so he has some um, LAN uh, jack, you know, input. He's room ready. Got all the inputs you need. Yeah, he can accept any um, okay. DLNA or UPnP uh, source player on the network. He's also a full featured DAC, so you have USB inputs, you have AES, SP Oh, really? Okay. And Toslink, yes. Great. All full resolution, uh, full bit perfect. There's a share port also, so you oh, can okay. stream uh, from your phone directly nice. or your iPad bit perfect as well uh, and then what's uh, really special about the c41 is he has an analog 
uh, volume control oh, okay. yeah, after the DAC. So okay. it's not compressing any resolution, a lot of digital volume control. You can right. lose some dynamic you range if you have to. A lot of yeah. things, yeah. yeah. So uh, we're not doing it that way. So if you are a digital only system, yeah. uh, you don't need a preamp. Right. So okay. you just took another box, another cord, another interconnect, yep. noise potential, yep. everything. People are starting to wise really up that bad. that's a smarter yeah. way to do things. Yeah. 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 And so what's the price point on this? Uh, he's $11,100. That's a lot. For the, yeah. And you get the MBL yeah. pedigree. It's and way too good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> People are not going to upgrade. They're going to be <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Um, so he comes in uh, white or black okay. with uh, the chrome or the gold accent, either way. Okay. And then we're kind of mixing it up here with the Noble the Nova line, uh, the next step up in electronics. The uh, amplifiers. N15 mono, mono amplifiers, yeah. And those are on Tate's acrylic racks. Yeah, they made a special rack. Uh, with the yeah, black, Tate's uh, here at the show. Stripe, yeah, He's great. based in Texas. You've seen him on my channel. So, yeah, this is, and then again, people shouldn't overlook the level of room treatment that is done in here to get the quality of sound. Um, this, these rooms are very challenging, no matter yeah, a hotel room. And to we bring a lot of time the amount of treatment you bring, pay off every time. Everything because is, we, measure, we measure and listen to every panel. Everything gets measured and auditioned uh, before we commit to keeping it in the room because they're amazing products and we want to present them as, as well as possible. Yeah, well, I'm very much looking forward to MBL, you, you sent me an email about the uh, thing y'all going to do again in Munich. Oh, the dinner. Concert. The dinner is amazing yeah. in Munich, so yeah. can't wait for that. Great. And one day I'll get out to the factory to come yes. take a look. Yes. But yes. next best thing for now, guys, is come to Dallas and check it out. What room is this? 1409. So Johnny's here with yeah. 3MA. Yeah. yeah. So 1409. Yeah. And you can come see these guys and me. All right. Thanks, Jeremy. Sure. Thank you, Jason.